Who? Who? Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Hey. Hey, what's up? Hey, you know what? What? <laughs> what? What's up, chicken? We get a lot of comments on our videos, and oh, they're so much dang. fun. Our viewers have the best sense of humor. Next to us. Well, of course. But, <laughs> but we're smart, too. Yeah. And uh, we're going to share some of your comments on some of our shows that we've done in the last couple of weeks because they're just so darn good. That's next time, men are so smart. So Ronnie, here on Men Are So Smart, we have over 400 episodes of our show. Yep. Think of how many Saturdays that is. 400. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we do this because we love it. We yep. certainly don't do it for the money because we don't make a dang dime. No. Nope. But we do it because we love your comments and your suggestions. And uh, so today we thought we'd share some of those, not just on the Fen Treasure, but on all of our videos across the board. So, Ronnie, if you'd like to start, you go right ahead. Okay, okay. buddy? This is from last week's episode that we did, Large Dog Breeds That oh, We yeah. Love. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Anon Anon, who is uh, one of our regular watchers. We of, love that guy. He's He actually started out as more of a Fen guy. Yeah. And now he's he just watches everything. He was a hater, too, if I don't he, remember. He was a minute. Yeah. For a minute, he was a hater. Right. <laughs> so, he says... You know what they say about haters? They're gonna. Um, they're gonna hate. I think that's hate, what it is. Hate, uh, hate. Yeah, I think that's what they say. All right. Uh, so anon anon says, "Funny, four out of the five comments are fenites." <laughs> on our dog. On our episode. dog episode, <laughs> and they were. We had some people because we put it out on a Friday. Right. Yeah, and everybody was expecting the fen. Everybody episode. was expecting. You see, a fen you can't. Episode. You can't pin us down. No. No. Just when you're expecting, you can expect the unexpected. When, you, when, when you think we're going left, hell no, going right. Yeah, yeah. We, we zig when we should zag, probably. Right. Or sometimes we zig and zag, so, and, and it's confusing. Or, or sometimes I've zigged and he's zagged. Right, and then where are we? We bumped our heads. And where are you? You're not, you don't know. All right, Tony Driver. Uh, let's see, Tony Driver. I guess I was logged into another account when I posted and forgot to change it. Ronnie asked me to post anything new for my boys. That's right. This was from them. Oh, this was on... Um, the slang. Slang terms and their yes. origins. And, and the guy, the teacher that keeps them alphabetical. Right. So uh, he says... Why is my screen not going up? I ran this by my boys. They hadn't heard of half of the ones that you guys mentioned. Here are two that they did tell me. Number one, Liddy. L-I-T-T-Y. Liddy. L -I -T -T -Y, that means lit. Lit up. Super cool. Like... That car is Liddy. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. And number two was Fat Minute. I love that. A fat <laughs> minute is a long time. Man, I haven't seen you in a fat minute. <laughs> We're going to start incorporating that one right there. So thank you very much for to Tony Driver. We appreciate it. Uh, let's see. This is from our show, Who's Happier, Married or Single Men? Oh, yeah. Uh, this was from Mark Connor. Mark Connor... Uh, where is he here? Oh, here he goes. Uh, out of all the single men out there, how many still live with mom? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's a reason. It's it's tough to get married when you still live with your mom. Yeah. Uh, Mark says I'm on wife number six. What? Sure wish I had all that money back. I had to pay them. <laughs> uh, he's, he's gonna do it till he does it right. I said I should have. Uh, I could have had a lot more boots on the ground. Yeah, you should have zigged. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and then I told him that my one of my favorite uh, expressions about divorce is, you know, my divorce is so expensive. Why? Because it's worth it. Oh, it is. Yeah. It is. Yep. Uh, Phil and Donna commented and said, enjoyed your show again. Look forward to each time it's on. Keep it up, guys. Love it. And, of course, I said thanks. Hey, right. And they said, it's our pleasure. <laughs> well, Phil and Donna... Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Uh, next up, uh, why do I know that Hooked on a Feeling is by Blue Suede? This uh -oh. is from Marshall George. Although it's not much better, worse, than a lot of pop music these days. And I wrote back, what about B.J. Thomas? Oh, boy, that's the original. Hooked on a Feeling. Yeah. You betcha. Uh, yeah. And Marshall says, he sang my mother-in-law's favorite song. Say, won't you play? Another somebody done somebody wrong. Song. Hey, do we have to pay that? Pay for oh, that? I, I think if we keep it under eight seconds, we'll edit it out. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, this is from our show, Want to Feel Old? Oh, you're good. a list of things that will make you feel that way. Uh -huh. And uh, Ron Davis says, you two are still just whippersnappers. <laughs> well, I remember when, wait, what was I saying? <laughs> I, I don't remember. I'm getting so old. And then uh, you Lou. You called us a whippersnapper. Yeah, Lou replied, I don't have any whipper left for my snapper. <laughs> and, and I told Ron, I'm so old I fart dust. Yeah, and I've seen that. Yes. Yeah. I just did it a second ago. <clears throat> um, Mark Connor writes, guys, I'm 56 year olds old. Please stop laughing my butt off. Green Acres, Hogan's oh. Heroes, Gilligan's Island, Beverly Hillbillies, Sanford and Son, Lone Ranger were some of my favorites. I watched them all. I wrote back uh, Chico and the Man. Oh, yeah. The Courtship of Eddie's Father. What about, uh, oh, God. Hollywood Squares. What was the one with uh, Fish? Uh, Abe Vigoda, uh, Barney Miller. Barney Miller. Oh, God darn, that was a great show. All in the Family, Ron. All in the Family. We grew up as kids being subjected to that racism. Yep. On a weekly basis. It and was we, like on every Sunday night. We turned out okay. We're okay. And you know what? They're actually... Mostly? They're gonna be, there's going to be a live remake of All in the Family. Oh, I did read something current, about that. Current stars are going to be working on it. Oh, man. Uh, I, I, I'm looking forward to that. I don't know. That. I don't know. That surely doesn't stand the test of time. Uh, this is on that same show. Uh, it's from SMS 1949. Gee, I wonder when he was born. 1940. <laughs> uh, super show. Funny, but all those things happened only yesterday. Seems didn't like they? it. Want to feel old? Look at your naked body in the mirror. Then look at a 20-year-old girl that makes you turn your head. Now consider just how much of a chance you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, next to none. Lou says, glad you enjoyed at my age. I'd need two girls, so when I fall asleep... The other one has someone to talk to. Um, yep. How about this? We did a show on married men and single men who's happier. Ron Davis says, after watching this episode, I said to my wife, I'm happy. You happy? She says, what the hell are you happy about? <laughs> That's a typical wife. <laughs> yeah, you don't let on that you're happy. Yeah. Please don't ever know. Let them know. No. Uh, let's see. Um, some good ones. Hey guys, it's Friday. I thought Fridays were Fen days. Well, I'm sorry. We didn't have a Fen show. You know what? Tell them why. Well, you know what? Right now, this time of year, new Fen content, it's kind of far and few between. Uh, and we're not just going to throw up any old Fen, you know, video just for likes or views. That's not what we're about. We're going to try to keep it pertinent if we can. So... That's the reason we didn't have anything to throw out. Uh, interesting that I got this. You know, um, when you have a YouTube channel, you have analytics available to you. And uh, with that, some of the comments that you get can be either held for review or labeled as likely spam. And I got this one. I can't believe this. Somebody actually has a page called Forrest Fenn. And they wrote, help, help us expand our team and join the Forest Fire, the official Forest Fan Hate Club. Join today at, well, I can't even say that word. Well, let's just say screw Forest. Right, there you go. Uh, yep. Okay, all right, thanks, uh, appreciate it. I'm not sure really. Who are you? Yeah. Send me an email or something. We're kind of, we're kind of still on the, the fan love boat. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, we it fluctuates. Fluctuates. Yep. Yeah. Um. Let's see. This is one that we did. The show that we did on May tenth about it was a Forest Fan, uh, fan mail episode, and uh, I was just on it. I went back up. Uh, doggone it. Oh. Um from peanut and we had talked about this before but i just ran across something some that says the the chest will never be found and i had said that at some point somebody's going to just stumble upon it all oh, right and so the, the very last thing i've seen on forest finn talking about from his mouth his himself that nobody is going to stumble on the chest now, they, he made it clear 
not stumble upon, but stumble on. So the difference to me is if something is down below on the ground, you could stumble on it. Mm -hmm. But if something is secreted away someplace else in a, like say the wall of a mountain or something, you might stumble upon it, but you're not going to stumble on it. So stumbled me says you're going to trip and fall. So it's, it's either... Again, this is the only new fin stuff that's being broadcast out there. It's either buried deeper that you're not going to, you know, trip over it, or it's in a tree trunk, or, or it's buried. It could be buried. Like we we have a fin episode that we just worked on. Yeah. That the person gave us their solve says it's buried, like probably six feet deep. Well, I'll tell you what, Ronnie, what do you say we end with this one on a good note, okay? All right. All right. Uh, thank you very much for watching today. We appreciate it. This is from James Devine, and James writes, That was time well spent. Thank you. Oh. Note, I found you guys while doing the treasure hunt. I noticed that your sound quality and overall production graphics was my top choice of the many Fen vlogs. You have entertainment charisma Keep up, keep it up. P.S. The music selection for this show is perfect. Wow. You know, I got to tell you, I probably spend eight to ten hours every single Sunday editing video for our shows the next week. And we're at a point now where more people are starting to watch some of our other shows that are not necessarily Fen related. Right. And for that, we really thank you. As much effort goes into these shows, like Large Breed Dogs or some of those other ones, uh, as goes into a Fen video. And um, as Ronnie and I have said on countless occasions, we really don't make any money whatsoever off of this show. And so I wonder, is it really worth it? for me to do all of these hours of editing. A simple 20 minute video probably takes three to three and a half hours of production time. And, and, um, and, and I'm fast. I'm really fast at editing and still it takes Much faster than you used to be. Well, yeah, I had no choice. 18 months ago. Right. Yeah. So in any case, uh, when someone makes a nice comment like that, I just certainly want to say, James, thank you. You really made my day. I appreciate well, that. Well, and certainly, if you go back and look at our some of our first videos, mm -hmm. you'll see that they were... Mm, primitive? Very primitive. You know, you would Taken actually... Taken off of an iPhone. Right, and you'd see us walk into the screen and yes. sit down. Yeah. We didn't know how to chop off the front half of it. Yep. Oh, my God. We didn't have a backdrop. It was boats. Yep, boats. Oh. Uh, iPhone with just the iPhone microphone. Yeah. Yeah, uh, sound and taking in uh, like 480 mm -hmm. uh, production quality. Yeah, not that great. Now we're we're in 1080p. Yeah, baby. I know. I'm looking good so, too. Huh? And we have a professional microphone. Uh huh. So yeah. which you discouraged me from buying. I, I think you <laughs> yeah. remember. Yeah. Yes. Well, we're not spending money on a microphone. Well, money, yeah, we are. Money well spent. At yes, this it point. was. Yep. Okay, so uh, anyway, thank you all so much for watching our videos. It really does mean a lot to us, especially with the effort and the time that we put into it. And the, the fact that you enjoy them means the world to us. So uh, if you'd like to leave some comments, please do that below. We reply to them rather quickly. Uh, you can always email us. You've seen our email addresses throughout the show. And if you've had a good time, we really want you to subscribe to our channel. Uh, you know what number we are on right now? No. 420. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. 420 subscribers. I sure would like to see that somewhere around a million. That would so be nice. So if you could tell a few people, that yeah. would be great. You know? Yeah. That'd be great. If all 400 in those 20 mm -hmm. told, told 420, 420 of their friends. Who told 420 of their friends. We'd be there in a minute. I know. Yeah. A fat minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Thanks Lou Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. See you next time on Men Are So Smart. Thank you again for your correspondence. Yep.